Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244 and welcome to the February roadmap that's coming for Hitman 3 this month. So every month they're going to be putting out new content for Hitman 3 with regards to escalations, loser targets, featured contracts, challenge packs, whatever that may be. And they'll release it every month and I'm going to show you and explain to you all the stuff that's within the monthly content. So for this particular month of February, in their blog that they released today as well it says hitman 3's first content update is here we're adding new and free content to the game every week in february for all hitman 3 players look out for featured contracts coming from minmax and kind of funny two new escalations that will challenge your approach and a less elusive target contract in sapienza that includes two targets as well as all this new content we're planning a patch in a few weeks that will bring fixes and tweaks to the game We'll give you a full rundown of what's included and what's ch changing closer to that time. And that, that's patch. that patch will also make sure you're prepared for what's still to come. The initial protocol has started. So what they're actually talking about is this. So what's live right now is going to be the Baskerville Barney escalation. I've just finished wrapping up that video. That should go live soon after this. And that's the first week. So you'll have a lot of targets in that one for the escalation and um all of the family i've all apart from Le alexa it's quite a difficult escalation so if you are interested in a challenge i advise you go and do that but for everyone else that's just a casual player i don't recommend that escalation i don't think it's a very good escalation i don't think it's a very good example of a good escalation but uh, that is just my opinion i just don't like contracts that involve five targets that's just me but if you're one of them guys i like that then phew, knock yourself out that's the, probably the best escalation for you but coming up the week after is going to be the Sinbad Stringent, which is going to be another escalation, which looks to be... That is Dubai. I can tell from the background with the little uh, air conditioning units that are there with the, the knife. So there's going to be some sort of gimmick involved there with the, uh, the kitchen knife. So we can look forward to that till next week. Also, that's coming uh, the week after as well. There's going to be featured contracts, including contracts by MinMax, whoever that is. I don't know who that is. And uh, the week later is going to be kind of funny featured contracts. So if you're into featured contracts, let me know in the comments because I will do those co featured contracts if you are really interested in me covering those. I don't usually do that in Hitman 2 because it, not many people was that interested in it. But I don't know. That's just it's completely up to you. But on February the 23rd, we have two deluxe content escalation drops. So they're gonna these this is the best highlight of the month in my opinion. So on February 23rd, we have two escalations dropping. First one called Gauchi the Gauchino the Gauchito Anquitit Anquit Jeez, that's hard to say. The Gauch the Gauchito Anquit Antiquity. Yeah, the Gauchi the Gauchito Anquit Fuck! Antiquity! There we go! The Gauchito Antiquity. There we go. <laughs> I got there in the end. Right, I don't know what location that is. Uh, oh yeah, that's that's Mendoza. There we go. That's Mendoza. You get a nice suit that you unlock for that, the Guru suit, and you unlock the the Guru's pen syringe emetic. So it's another emetic syringe we have, and a Guru's emetic grenade. So we already have a grenade, emetic grenade, so we can. It's always nice to have two. So there we go. That's the content dropping for that. On the same day dropping as well, we have the Prolof parable escalation, which is probably the highlight of the month overall, because you get a really cool outfit after that, which looks like a ninja. And you get a really nice custom Sega 300 sniper rifle and a white katana. So if those, those of you that was interested in doing ninja only runs throughout the game, now is going to be your chance. Obviously, if you're only if you're a, a deluxe edition owner, of course. Also dropping on that same day is going to be a game update. We don't know the contents of that yet, but we'll obviously get more word of what's going to happen around that when the update is dropping. And obviously, stay tuned here for more information on that because... I will give you all the news for the content that's coming out and also the patch notes and stuff like that. So on February 26th, we have uh, the first elusive target for Hitman 3 They're called the Deceivers. And if you're not familiar with this, uh, we actually had this back in Hitman 2. They come up with a really cool concept of combining two elusive targets into one. And I think that's... Um, I think one of them was called the Guru, I think. Or it could be mistaken. And the other one was called... Oh, I don't know. I can't remember now. But yeah, we've had this escalation before and it's not a difficult one and it's pretty much a decent one to get started off for the people that are not familiar with elusive targets. But 
I assure you it's not uh, a difficult one. Two poison kill opportunities, nice and simple. You'll have 10 days to get through that. No mention of any rewards though, which is peculiar. They did say uh, they are reworking how elusive target's going to be, and we've already had this elusive target, so I'm not completely sure what's going to be different about this one. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be exactly the same, nothing's going to be different, and I doubt there's even any rewards behind it, because I'm pretty sure they would have said something if that was the case, but uh, we'll see if there's uh, what changes on February 23rd. I'm assuming they're going to add like an elusive target tab for the main menus, but again, it's just speculation at this point. Um, I really hope that they don't just keep recycling the old content for the hit elusive targets. If they are going to bring them back, I really would prefer if they just brought them back for a, a permanent period of time rather than just doing it for 10 days and that's it and you'll never see it again because we've had this multiple times now. I personally have done, taken out each of those targets three times I think. Fourth if you count the uh, the Hitman 2 rerun of that and it, this will be the fifth time I've actually taken this target out but I will complete it because I'm obviously expected to so I will go ahead and do that when it comes to that but yeah I really hope there's going to be new elusive targets because I don't want to rehash the elusive targets all the time um, if they are going to rehash them I'd rather them just do the do the best ones like you know Sean Bean if they bring that one back just bring it back once don't do it again because we've already had it four times but yeah I, I just I don't know. Just give people what they want. That's what I, that's what I like to ask for. I'm just a player that's played literally everything there is to play in the Hitman series. That's probably the reason why I'm actually just saying all this stuff because I've played it all. But there's a lot of players out there, including probably one of you, that have never even played this. So good news for you guys. But uh, that's all the content news I've got for you though for, for for today. There obviously will be more patch notes coming at the end of the month when it gets released, and obviously be sure to cover that. But for this video. That about wraps it up. And that's going to do it for this video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this monthly drop of the content. And see what you what are you most excited for. You're most excited for the elusive target or the deluxe escalations. My, me personally, the escalations, I'm interested in the deluxe ones. But yeah. Thank you very much for Paul Lilly, Big D, Bedry, Argel, Mark, Constantine, and the Crazy Jesus for becoming top tier Psycho Assassin members. I really do appreciate it. If you want to become a member yourself, just click the join button below next to the subscribe button or click the link in the description. Also a link in there is for the Patreon if you want to become a Patreon as well. So thank you very much for all the support recently. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.